Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to TV News with some last events in Tanin Province. And some of the main stories today is the conference reviewing the 15 years implementation of the resolution on renewing, developing, and improving the efficiencies of the collective economy and cooperatives. Cultivating of them while all just with the big profits. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc has stressed that developing the collective economy must start from the people demand. During a teleconference in Hanoi on October 14, reviewing the 15 years implementation of the resolution on renewing, developing and improving the efficiency of the collective economy as well as cooperatives. The resolution was adopted at the 5th Plenium of the 9th Party Central Committee and the Prime Minister held the improving awareness of the collective economic development evidenced by the 20th Law on Cooperatives on the back of seven basic principles of the International Cooperatives Alliance. Since the launch of the resolution 15 years ago and the adoption of the Law of Cooperatives in 2012, the number of effective cooperatives has kept growing. Accounting for 55% of agricultural cooperatives and about 50 to 80% of non agricultural ones. The Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc stressed that the number of cooperatives increased over years with the new models. However, their contribution to the country's gross domestic products remains modest and tense tall. And he also suggested learning from international experience to fully tap the power to new style cooperatives and collective economic models. Mechanisms to develop cooperatives and working groups must be fighting and coordination with other economic sectors, especially businesses, strengthened toward opening up new more markets for farmers, the leader said. He also asked for facilitating labor training, land and finance credit policies, science technology and infrastructure upgrade requiring tapping advantages and potential of cooperative models to make profound and basic changes in agricultural production and rural lives. Currently, the reconstruction and upgrading for the Western Tenant Canal System in the province, phase number two, is being implemented to improve the capacity of irrigation and drainage reducing water pollution to serve industrial production, daily line of activities and aquaculture in four northern districts of Tainan province, such as Tang Bing, Yuman Chow, Chow Thanh districts and Tainan city. Accordingly, the projects of repairing and upgrading the western canal belonging to Yau Ting irrigation system got a total investment of about 360 billion Vietnam dong from the authorities' bond capital. In 2018, the first phase of the projects were implemented, upgrading and improving the canal system from K-21 bridge to the K-13 bridge. And from October of 2019, the second phase of the projects continued to be deployed from K-13 bridge to K-36 bridge. After upgrading, the western canal will serve stable irrigation, creating a source for 21,000 hectares, draining water for basins of 9,000 hectares, and supplying additional irrigation water to Tang Bing border district area, combining with aquaculture of about 6,400 hectares. As the wild orchards in the nature is increasingly rare, many orchard breeding methods such as tissue transplants have contributed to the growing number of wild orchards on growing demand. But many discerning players are still preferring of them wild orchards from natural forests, and the cultivating is get more profits from this. Many orchards farm in Tanin province specialize in planting and domestically cultivating of them wild orchards have firms and traded a lot of profits. The largest growing area of Ngoc Diem wild orchards in Tanin is in Tang Ha Khamun, Tang Chau District. There have been more than 40 households planting and a total area of more than 8 hectares. Growing Ngoc Diem wild orchards initial costs are relatively high, with an average of 1,000 square meters of about 70 million Vietnam dong. However, after only two years, the profits gained about 1 billion Vietnam dong for 1,000 square meters. And according to the gardeners, Ngoc Diem wild orchards seeding are very relatively high, with an average of about 350,000 Vietnam dong per kilogram. And Ngoc Diem wild orchards cultivating models has brought significant income and for some households in Tang Chau district, this model is expected to continue to be developed and replicated in the province in the near future.
and in the morning of October the 14th of 2019, Royal District Census Steering Committee held a conference to summarize the 2019 population and housing census. Attending, there was Ms. Thi Trung Thi Phu, Vice Chairwoman of the Commission District People Committee, District Steering Committee. There are about 364 enumeration areas in the whole district, with more than 41,000 households. In order that the enumeration to master the skills during the survey, the District Steering Committee has opened four professional training courses and thereby 100% enumerators conducted direct surveys using CAPI with direct interview method to get information directly and to into the computers and smartphones. And after the census, the whole district has nearly about 153,000 people with nearly 24,000 in urban areas and nearly 129,000 in rural areas. In particular, the number of men is higher than women with 425 people. On this occasion, the Department of State Statistics and Goyal District People Committee rewarded about four teams and 19 individuals with outstanding achievements in the census of population and housing in 2019. Accumulated in the first nine months of the year, the revenue of transports, warehousing and transport support services in the province reached about 2,229 billion Vietnam dong, increased nearly 8% over the same period, in which the passenger transport revenue reached about 758 billion Vietnam dong, increased up nearly 7% and cargo transport revenue reached about 4,498 billion Vietnam dong, increase of 7.14%, and revenue from warehousing and transportation support services reached about 110 billion Vietnam dong, increase of 14%. And also in September of 2019, investment capital under the state budget capital managed by the localities was estimated at about 313 billion Vietnam dong, increase of 7.86% over a previous month. In particular, provincial budget capital is estimated at 265 billion Vietnam dong, increase of 7.46%. And in the afternoon of October the 14th, the Party Committee and People Councils, People Committee and Social and Political Organization of Goyao Town held an over ceremony to bring unity houses to the poor households who are facing difficulty in housing in the town. The Pride Solidarity House was given to Mr. Trang Bang Tung An's family, born in 1984, currently residing in Than Ban A Hamlet, Goyao Town. The house was built solidly with ceramic tile floor, conjugated iron machine, iron door with a total construction cost of about 55 million Vietnam dong, and funding for building houses is supported by Trung Nam Tenant Company Limited. And that's all for the news of today. Thank you for joining us and see you more next time.